Berg. I am Setchoff. Welcome to German Kratz. Welcome back. It's not my first time in this world. Get up! Darth Nyra sends her apologies for not coming to meet you personally. There have been several attempts on her life. I am well aware. Of course, my lord. That's why you're here. Excuse my stupidity. Were your master's instructions to leave me to drown in this downpour? Forgive me, my lord. Please, follow me. We have a speeder waiting. There's no emotion. There is peace. Don't jump. I don't want to have to clean up the mess. I I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to wake you, I just I need to clear my head. Maybe we should speak to the Jedi Council. They might be able to help. <laughs> You're asking me to ask the council for help? I think you had too much of that Karelian wine at dinner. They owe you. If it weren't for you, Malak would have destroyed the Republic, eliminated the Council, and all but wiped out the Jedi. They owe you everything. The Council doesn't... The Council doesn't owe me anything. All the good that I've done doesn't balance out all the evil that came before. Don't talk like that. They can't blame you for what happened. Not anymore. You're not the same man you once were. The Revan I know is a hero. A champion of light. You redeemed me after Malak turned me to the dark side. Thank you and the Council redeemed me. What we did was wrong. At the time I thought we had no other choice, but if I could do it over again... I don't want anything to change. If none of that had happened, I might not have found you. No, what the Council did to you, it wasn't right. They took away your memories. Again. They stole your identity. Came back. Came back. You have to let go of your anger. There's no emotion. There is peace. It's cold out here. You should go back inside. Here we are, my lord. This way, my lord. Our guest has arrived, Murtog. Did you verify his identity? What are you talking about? How do we know it's the real Lord Scourge and not another assassin? Well, I don't... I mean, he's got the look. I'm not letting anyone in unless I have verification. It's completely inappropriate. You've overstepped your authority. I'm chief of security. This is completely within my authority. I am a guest. Darth Nyrus invited me herself. Huh. You better check your facts. Did you mean to insult me by leaving me out here like some beggar? I'm sorry, Lord Scourge. Murtaugh has become somewhat paranoid since the attack. What did he mean when he told me to check my facts? Was I invited by Darth Nyrus or not? You were. Of course you were. Well, sort of. 
You will tell me what is going on. You will tell me everything or you will die. Do you understand me? It wasn't Darth Nyers' idea to hire you. Tell me who hired you and I'll let you live. Do I look that stupid? You seem obviously skilled. You could use a man like you. Tell me who hired you and I'll let you work for me. If not, then throw your life away. <coughs> Very well. Such a waste of potential! Last chance. Join me or die. Darth Nyrus will see you now. Find you here. You look like death warmed over. Is being married to Bastila really that bad? I haven't been sleeping too well lately. Bad dreams. You're one to talk. It looks like you haven't shaved in three days. <laughs> the ladies around here like their men to have rough edges. So you want something to drink? Not from here. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. So, why are you here? I get the feeling this isn't just a social call. I've got some questions about the war. Not much to say. We lost, you won. We thought we could conquer the Republic, instead we ended up a broken people. There's one thing I never understood about the Mandalorian Wars. Why, after all these centuries, would you launch an all-out attack on the Republic? Yeah, it was Mandalore's idea. Mandalore felt the Republic was weak, vulnerable. Everything was going fine until you showed up. You and your followers turned the entire tide of the war against us. Eventually, you killed Mandalore, and everything changed. Is there anything else you can tell me about what happened before Mandalore declared war? Is there anything unusual that might have been a, a catalyst for the war? Does it have anything to do with the bad dreams you mentioned? It might. You're getting more of your memories back, aren't you? Only bits and pieces. I keep having this vision of this planet I don't recognize. The whole world is covered in electrical swarms day and night. Doesn't sound familiar. What do you think it means? I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about it. And you think it's connected to our war against the Republic somehow? Think about it. Mandalore the Ultimate decides to do what his predecessors would never dream of, launch an all-out war on the Republic. Malak and I take our troops and go into unknown regions far beyond Mandalorian space. And when we come back, we decide to attack the Republic too. It does seem like a sort of strange coincidence. You found the storm cover planet in unknown regions? No. Something happened to us out there. Something that's connected to the war against the Republic. Something that's connected to Mandalore's decision to attack the Republic in the first place. And you think, whatever this thing is, it's still out there and it's still dangerous? I don't know. 
but I feel like these visions are a warning. Like, like my old self is trying to tell me something I can't afford to ignore. <laughs> Sounds crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> After everything we've been through, this just feels like old times. So, what is it you want me to do? I need to find out more about Mandalore the Ultimate. Now, no one's going to talk to an outsider like me. I need someone who can talk to the clans and get some answers. I spent most of the last five years of my life avoiding other Mandalorians. Uh, you know I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't important. You know I've been hanging around this bar for two years, turning down everyone who came to offer me a job? I figured you'd get mixed into something interesting. And I went to be around for the fun. Guess this is it. I knew I could count on you, Candorous. I'll get a hold of some of my people, see if I can dig up anything. Can't promise I'll find anything, though. I hope you don't, but I know neither one of us are that lucky. Not what you expected? Forgive me, my lord. There was an incident upon my arrival that has left me a little off balance. I am well aware of what transpired outside. You dealt with the assassin quite efficiently. I expect this will not be the last such incident. It appears you are wounded. You should see the assassin. I would like to conclude our business here quickly. Let's continue this conversation privately. As you wish. Do you have something you wish to tell me? Discretion and subtlety have their place, but when you speak to me, I expect nothing but the truth. Let me guess. You think my own people are behind these recent attempts on my life? I do not believe the recent attack was an attempt on your life. I believe the mercenary was hired to eliminate me. Who do you think hired the mercenary? Central. What do you suggest I do? Dismissal? Execution? It would be foolish to get rid of someone as valuable as Setra without concrete proof. Still, I would like the chance to interrogate him. I need the truth. I will take care not to do any permanent physical or mental damage. Impressive, but the interrogation won't be necessary. You're right about the mercenary, but I know who hired him. Who? Me. After the last assassination attempt, Setchel found a leak. I hired a mercenary to follow up on it, but before he could, the Emperor stepped in, forcing me to bring you in. I'd hired the mercenary to take you out of the picture. Consider it a test. You said you found a lead. Setchel discovered that the assassin was hired by a human separatist dedicated to freeing the world of the Emperor and the Dark Council. Why not just target the Emperor himself? The Emperor is too well protected. And since no one can get to him, the Dark Council members were the next best thing. His name is Darth Zedrix. Where are you sending me? According to Setchel's information, you'll be heading to the mountains outside of the city. The human filth will die, my lord. I will not fail. I should have guessed it was you. Atrus. Still trying to recapture your lost memories. Well, this report seems to skim over some of the more relevant details. Shoddy work. Maybe you just can't see the obvious truth in front of you. Or maybe I need your great wisdom to help me figure out what's missing. What makes you think I would do anything to help you? I'm still a Jedi, Matrus. Matrus' sentence is, well, a matter of record. I have a right to know the truth. All of it. What more is there to tell? She made the mistake of following you. You let her down the path to the dark side, and for this, the Council banished her. Yes, well, she surrendered voluntarily to the Council. Why wouldn't they show her mercy? They needed to make an example of her and all who defied the will of the Council. Mercy was not an option. It doesn't make any sense. My crimes were far worse, and the Council gave me a second chance. You could still be of use to us. Do you know where she is? I need to speak with her. Haven't you done enough already? 
It's your fault she fell to the dark side and was branded an exile. It's your fault she defied the will of the council and betrayed the order. It's your fault she cut herself off from the force. For a Jedi, that's a fate worse than death. I have been far closer to death than others, and I can assure you that's not true. That's the difference between us. I live for the Force. You live for yourself. Whatever you think of me, it doesn't matter. Mitra made her own choices, and now it's her decision whether she speaks to me, not yours. Now, if you know where she is, you must tell me. I haven't spoken to her since the trial. I do not know where she went, and I hope I never speak to her again. You're not welcome here. Go back home to your wife. There is no emotion. There is peace. <sighs> no wonder I never come here. Nidus's new pet, Lord Scourge. Why do you purebloods always choose such ridiculous names for yourselves? Do you think it's intimidating? Ha! Has Nidus actually convinced you that you have the power to stand against a member of the Dark Council? Has she promised you riches and power if you defeat me? She promised me nothing. You are a traitor to the Empire. It is my honor and duty to kill you. Ah, now I understand. She played on your loyalty to our glorious Emperor. You didn't realize that Nida sent you here to die, did you? She never meant for you to kill me. You were nothing more than a message. A warning. Is that what you call the attempts on her life? A warning? You think I am the one who hired those inept assassins? Nida has you twisted in knots. She's using you for a game far greater than anything you can imagine. You feel your strength returning, do you? Think carefully before you challenge me again. I might not let you live next time. <laughs> Why would you let me live? You have potential. And, thanks to you, I'm in need of a new apprentice. I could find a use for someone with your talents. You want me to betray Nairos? What do you owe her? She sent you here to die, just to send a message. Your words are hollow, Zedrox. Break your power! Please, what's good? I'll give you what you want. Slaves. Well, power. <laughs> power, Zedrox. You cannot give. What is that yours? just contacted me via holocom. I needed to talk to you face to face about this. Ooh, sounds ominous. Are you still having those nightmares? Sometimes. I'm learning to live with it. Now tell me what you found. Well, I didn't find anything about a planet covered in storms and eternal night. But uh, I did dig up something you might be interested in. I hope you're not waiting for me to try and buy this information off you. I left most of my credits at home. I shouldn't be telling you this. You being a Jedi. 
If you're worried, I'll go running to the council with your secret. Don't be. It's not just them. You can't tell the Galactic Senate either. Mm. That bad, huh? Depends on your point of view. I got in contact with some of my people, just like you wanted. Apparently chiefs are gathering on Rekia. Planning another invasion? No, not yet. They're searching for Mandalore's mask. They think you might have hid it there. I think they may be right. You know what the mask means to my people. Whoever finds it will rise up as the new leader of the clans. Mandalore will be again, and the Mandalorians will follow it. Do you think the Mandalorians will attack the Republic again if the mask is found? Depends on who finds the mask. Some leaders want nothing more than to avenge our defeat. Others want to rebuild our society. We still have a chance to restore our honor without breaking the terms of the treaty. The terms I forced you to accept. Well, I think it would be a good idea for us to be there when the mask is found. <laughs> I know I could count on you. We're a little short on bodies, no, we don't need a crew. We want to avoid bloody. You realize we're going to a planet overrun by Mandalorians. Bloody's unavoidable. I was hoping some of the clans could be reasoned with. We're still short on bodies, though. How about that other Jedi that fought with you during the war? Not Malak. The one they call the Exile. Mitra. I heard she and the Council had a falling out. I don't know where she is. She might be worth tracking down. She and the Council may have had a falling out, but she's still... Jedi. So, who's that leave? You, me, and T3? That half-sized buckets of bolts? And don't forget Bastila. I thought you wanted to leave the Jedi out of this. She's my wife. I'm not gonna just abandon her. Hey, it's your call. She's welcome to come. Well, we never did get to go on a honeymoon. I'm sorry. I didn't know I'd be so late. I, I didn't mean to keep you up. It's okay. I couldn't sleep. Me too. Big news. But mine's bigger. Now that is a bet you'd lose. <laughs> I'm pregnant. You win. Hello in your mind. You haven't been sleeping lately. I was speaking with Candorus, and we believe that Mandalore's mask is the key to recovering my memory. I have to leave. Talk about bad timing. Look, I have to do this. It's the only way to find out what these visions really mean. And what if you don't find out? Your nightmares are fading. Maybe in a few months they'll stop. Maybe. But I, I feel as if these are more than just old memories bubbling up. They're a warning. And maybe if the visions go, it's the threat they represent is still out there. Haven't you done enough already? You've saved the Republic from the Mandalorians. You've saved the Republic from Malak. And in return, you got your identity destroyed and were ostracized by the Council. You don't owe them anything anymore. You've paid for your mistakes. You've done what's right. You've earned the right to live out your days in peace. I'm not doing this for the Republic. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing it for you. I'm not even doing it for me. I'm doing this for our, our child, for our children's children. We may never know the horrors that are out there, but they will. And we have to save the Republic for them. We have to sacrifice our chance at happiness so they could live the life that we may never know. When do we leave? Can't come with me. What if I find something on Wreckade, something connected to my past, something that leads me deeper and deeper into the Outer Rim? I, I, I could be gone for months, so maybe longer. And what then? Do you really want to give birth to our child on some uninhabited planet on the edge of the galaxy? Is that really the conditions we want to raise our child on? I'll not risk our child's life. I know you won't either. If I say you're right, really please shut up. Because I could think of better things to do on the last night before you leave than talking. Be careful out there. I always am.
asked a question I want a direct answer, so I will ask again. Is Naira using me? Of course she is. She uses everybody. Was Cedrix really working with the human separatists? Yes! Did Cedrix actually try to kill Naira? No. Who hired the assassin? Naira did. She wanted to draw suspicion away from herself. Suspicion? Suspicion of what? Ask her yourself! Answer all your questions, but if you harm Setchel, I will end you. Are you loyal to the Empire? I thought I was going to get to ask the questions. Remember your place. Listen to me. When I finish, you will have your chance to speak. I am loyal to the Empire. Loyal to the Emperor or the Empire? They are two different things. What do you mean? The Emperor is mad. Unchecked, he will destroy us all. For a thousand years, the Empire has thrived under his rule. The Emperor has expanded our borders, made us stronger. But he is only doing it for one purpose. He is planning an attack on the Republic. He intends to start another Jedi War. No. Impossible. Was Cedric a part of his alliance? He was. Now I must truly convince you to join our cause. I want you on our side. How do you intend to convince me? Have you heard tales of the Emperor's childhood? He has hidden his past because if any came to light, none would follow him. He was born over a thousand years ago. He spent his childhood on Nathema, a lush and vibrant world on the far fringes of the Empire. Nathema? Never heard of it. Its name has long been forgotten, along with the planet. The Emperor erased Nathema to hide any evidence of his crimes. Crimes? You must see for yourself. Only then will you understand the price the Emperor is willing to pay. Only then will you understand why he must be stopped. How will I find this lost world? I will take you there. When do we leave? It will take several days to prepare and the Emperor must never know of our journey. See to your injuries and get some rest. You're trying to crash us into a glacier back there? I thought you said you knew how to fly this rusted heap of metal. I thought you said Clan Order was on this planet. I can't see a blasted thing with these grid coordinates you gave me. Maybe they moved. Couldn't have gone far though. Not in these conditions. Do a ground scan of the area. They'll probably turn up. That's what I've been doing. Turns out it's a good way to get up close and personal with the glacier. That's why the red light's blinking? That's the landing gear. It got smashed when we clipped the glacier. You couldn't just go around it. Just go down for another look. Plan Ordo's gotta be close by. And even if we do find them, then what? Expecting to land this thing? <sighs> You're a smart guy. You'll think of something. T3, see if you can do something to boost these sensors. I think your droid's got rust in his brains. I don't see anything. Anything, T3? That could be it. Doesn't look like there's a landing strip near the camp. There. Perfect. Good work, T3. Um, that's not a landing strip. That's a giant snow drift. Well, with the landing gear shot, we're gonna need something to cushion the impact. You really think this will work? Better strap yourself in. so bad being a droid. You mean like marching through a blizzard? It's at least five kilometers to the camp. Well, it doesn't look too bad. See if we can fix it while we're off to the camp. Jedi aren't too popular around here. We better get moving.
Nothing I can tell you will prepare you for what you'll see on Nathema. I can only warn you. The Emperor's name was Tenebrae. They say he was born with eyes as black as the void of empty space, and that he never cried, even as an infant. The Emperor's name was Tenebrae. At thirteen, he presented himself to Marco Ragnos, the Lord of all Sith and the ruler of the Sith Council. He was granted the title of Lord Vitiate. He did not fight in the Great Hyperspace War. After it had ended, he called upon the Great Council of all the Sith Lords who remained. He invited them to Nathema to participate in a ritual to unlock the full potential of the Dark Side. It was a trap. He turned them into slaves of his will, forcing them to participate in the most complex ritual of Sith sorcery ever attempted. Lord Vitiate devoured them. A vortex spread across the entire planet. Every man, woman, child, and living thing on Nathema died that day. That was the day the Emperor was truly born. One more step and I'll paint the snow with your brains. Lay down your weapons and identify yourselves. I'm Candace of Clan Ordo, and I don't lay down my weapons for anyone. How do we really know you're Candace? Well, Edric, we could stand here while I punch you in the face until I straighten that crooked beak of yours out. But we'd probably all freeze to death before I finished. <laughs> Candace, it is you. Uh, it's good to see you again, Edric. Welcome home, brother. <laughs> well, are you just gonna stand here until I freeze? Or are you gonna show us to the camp? Come on, you Laric vet. <laughs> Here we are. We've been searching this area for days now. Not a sign of the mask. More and more Mandalorians have come back to join the clan. It won't be more than a year before the mask and the new Mandalore is found. Are those, uh... Basilisk war droids. We were forced to dismantle them after the war, but, uh, we, we have been rebuilding. Never know when you might need them, huh? <laughs> Vila, our lost brother has finally come home. Susi Gara, Vila. What are you doing here? Is that any way to greet a clan brother? Are you still a clan brother? You deserted us after the war. What have you been doing the past two years? I heard you fell in with the Jedi. Seen Vatine. I'm sorry I left, but I'm back now. Why did you come back? to help Clan Ordo find Mandalore's mask. Balmegarueti. Avner is my friend, my brother. He will aid us in our search to find Mandalore's mask. Because Brother Candrus vouched for you, you can stay. But if you betray us, I'll kill you. If your weakness causes one of my men to get hurt, I'll kill you. If you so much as slow us down. I'll kill you. Do you understand? What was that second one again? Maybe I should write that down. Welcome home, brother. Here it is. Home sweet home. Thanks, Adrian. It was very fast at first light. Abner. Don't judge Vila too harshly. She's a good leader, but the burden of command has given her a temper. 
I won't. But it was Candorous is the one she was really mad at. I sense those two have a uh, history. <laughs> you can say that. You see, Vila is Candorous' wife. I cannot guarantee the truth of this story. Those who witnessed the events are no longer alive to verify them. But if you had met the Emperor for yourself, you would not be so hesitant to accept them as fact. The Emperor seized what was his by right. That is our way. The strong take from the weak. Doing it on a scale of millions changes nothing. It only proves he is worthy to be our Emperor. So I used to think. But then I saw Nathema for myself. Gendry. Revan! We need to get to Vila. Vila, we have more pressing things to worry about than that. Boo! Help with the wounded. You Jedi are good at that, right? <sighs> Do you feel the void? The Force is energy. It gives heat to our emotions and our minds. Here, it has been stripped away. I've seen enough.
Vanderus. We need to talk. Mm. It's important. Candace, we have to get Vila to move the camp. Why? What about Vila? We have to move the camp. That's her call, not mine. She's the clan chief. They're looking in the wrong place. I know where I hid Mandalore's mask. Well, why didn't you say so? Stay here and wait for Vila. Abner and I will head and check it out. You all right? I think my past is catching up with me. File Mandalore's mask with your filthy Jedi hands. Vila, what are you doing? Step away from the mask. Abner fought for Sias and helped us find Mandalore's mask. You are paying with betrayal. Who are you to talk of betrayal? You abandoned us after the war. For what? Falling with Revan, the Butcher? When did you figure it out? Really think cheating Revan into Avner would fool us? This isn't about him. It's about me, isn't it? Vila, you're the rightful leader of Clan Ordo. I won't claim the mask for myself or challenge you. You still don't get it. You should be our leader, not me. When Mandalore fell, you should have been the one to take his place. Instead, you abandoned us. Abandoned me. I was lost. I didn't know what to do. When the plan fell apart, I needed time away. I can't undo the past. But I'm here now, Vila. That's why I didn't tell the others back at the camp. I couldn't destroy your reputation by telling them you fell in with Revit. No. You didn't tell them because you were afraid they would agree with me. Revan is no longer our enemy. Without him, Clan Gendry would have slaughtered us, and we would have never found Mandalore's mask. And what you are doing now brings dishonor to the whole clan. No, you're wrong. Clan Ordo might accept the Jedi, but they would never accept him. There's only one way to be sure. We let the whole clan decide. That's not going to happen. Revan cannot leave this chamber alive. You gonna kill us? I'm not here to kill you, just him. You expect me to simply stand aside? I expect you to join us! You're a Mandalorian! You have to choose, Kendris. It doesn't have to be this way. End this madness. We can take the mask back down together. Choose. Pela, there is no honor in this. Only an inevitable defeat. We killed dozens of Jedi during. I'm no ordinary Jedi. Vila, please don't do this. Kill them both.
I'm sorry. Me too. Me too. You sure you don't want to come with me? I have to stay with my people and help them rebuild. Besides, with Vila gone, they need a new leader. That is strange. A ship just dropped out of hyperspace in this system. The Emperor sent someone to follow us. That is impossible. I've never seen its signature on any design before. It looks like a freighter of some kind. I don't think they've seen us. Bring it down. I know this man. His name is Revan. He's a Jedi in the Republic spy. Spy? If the Jedi know we exist, they will come for us. Our existence is still hidden. Revan and another Jedi, a man named Malik, discovered German Kaas by accident. They were captured before they could return and report their findings to the Republic. Why don't we just kill him now? Not yet. Not until we know why he is here. We'll take him back to my stronghold, German Kaas. For question. I've never interrogated a Jedi before. I'm looking forward to it. He's asleep. He's beautiful. He looks like his father. He said we needed to speak. I wasn't sure if we should come. I understand this might be difficult for you. T3 insisted. As much as I tried, I couldn't get him to tell me anything. I gave him instructions the night before he left with Revan to come back to me if they ever became separated. That was a wise move. Sorry about that, T3. I should have contacted you had I known you were back. Fortunately, he found me. I guess he thought I was the next best thing, given my history with Revan. Guess the little guy does have a knack for teaming up with galactic saviors. I'm sorry, T3. You've been very patient so far. I'm just... I'm not sure I'm ready to hear what you have to tell me. Take your time. T3 M4 has waited three years for this. He can wait a little longer. Well, maybe this would be easier if T3 and I spoke in private. I understand you want to be cautious, but Candorus told me all about Revan and his search for the storm-covered world. Is it true? Is Candorus the new Mandalore? Revan helped him find Mandalore's mask before continuing on alone. What else do you know that I don't? I would never intentionally keep any knowledge of Revan from you. You have more right to know the truth than anyone. You have the same right. You stood by his side from the beginning. He had no truer friend. Whatever T3 has to say, we should hear it together. I'm ready. The Jedi know we exist, they will come for us. Our existence is still here. If the Jedi know we exist, they will come for us. Our existence is still here. I guess the Sith aren't as extinct the as the Jedi, Jedi thought. You never saw anyone during that time? No refugees, no looters, no animals, no insects? How could the entire population of a world just be wiped out? Do you know anything about him? I'll take him back to my stronghold in place for questioning. I will go to Drum and Cause. You? And what about me? Am I just expected to sit here and wait, not even knowing whether he's alive or not? What has changed since Revan left? You stayed behind to care for your son. Are you prepared to leave him behind now? Of course not! I'm sorry. I just miss him. And I feel so helpless. I can only imagine how you suffered. 
I wish I could say it would get easier, but we all have burdens to bear. This is yours. If he's still alive, I will do whatever it takes to bring him back to you. Wait. I have something for you. Revan's mask. I thought this was lost when he was captured by the Jedi strike team. I led that strike team. When Revan fell, I don't know why, but I took it. I didn't tell anyone, not the council, not even him. Why not? Revan wore this mask during the Mandalorian Wars. During his time as Darth Revan, it would trigger some memory from that time. When you find him, give him the mask. What if your fears are right? I don't care. Not if that power helps bring him back to me. He's here, T3. I can feel it. It won't be that easy, but I'll scout around for a bit. Once I get past the guards, stay close and follow my lead. No one knows I'm a Jedi. Let's keep it that way. This vessel is unregistered. You're gonna have to come with me. I like to keep my arrivals off record. That can be arranged. Naturally, we charge a fee for that kind of premium service. I converted my funds into something a little easier to carry. I have a strict payment up front policy. Maybe you can make an exception, seeing as we're both human. Maybe we can make an exception, seeing as how we're both human. I knew we could come up with something. Now I don't suppose you'd know the name of someone in the city who'd give me a fair price for my stones. Larvit's your best bet. You can find him in the city. He drives a hard bargain, but he's not going to cheat you. Where can I find this Larvit? Please present your identity. Oh my. What are you doing? You can't just go throwing that around willy nilly. I was told you're the man to come to for private business. Yeah, I am, but what if an Imperial inspector just came, walked by? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. The off worlders. I'll give you 7,000 for it. 20,000. 20,000? I'll be good if I can get 18 for it, all right? I'll give you 11. Make it 15, and I promise I'll come find you first the next time I'm looking to deal. You drive a hard bargain. 12. I'll sell it for 13 and some information. What kind of information? I need the name of a contact who knows how to find people. Someone that can make people disappear? I'd rather not say. Tell you what, 12.50 we got a deal. And I'll set up a meeting. His name is Satchel. Larvit tells me you are looking for someone. He said you could help me find him. For the right price, I can find almost anyone. And I understand you have more than ample funds to cover my costs. See, Larva does not believe in discretion when discussing business matters. If you didn't want him to discuss the terms of your deal, you should have negotiated that into your price. Shall I assume you want our discussions to remain in private? Tell me about the person you are looking for. I'm looking for a Sith. Does this Sith have a name? He probably does, but I don't know what it is. Ah, progress. Now we know he is male. Can you provide me a description? Oh, I can do better than that. He appears to be a Sith Lord. That means I will have to charge extra. I need to discuss an urgent matter with him. Perhaps if you tell me the details of your business with him, it will help me track him down. Is he a friend, an enemy? Not a friend, exactly. But certainly not an enemy. He has information on a private matter I wish to discuss. Keeping information from me will make my job more difficult. It will drive up the price substantially. You already know I can pay. My business will remain private. I want you to set up a meeting between us. A private meeting, yes. Very well. I will try to locate him and offer to set up a meeting. Of course, I can make no promise he'll agree to see you. It's in his best interest. 
I'm sure you can be very convincing. Of course, but that costs extra. How much? 5,000 credits. Four. Very well. I know. I know. This is the only lead we've got. We'll give them the chance to surrender, but be ready for things to get ugly. Hopefully it won't come to that. Satchel said this Sith, Scourge, is curious about why we're here, so maybe he won't attack. You keep an eye out? Is anybody here? Lord Scourge? Is that you, Lord Scourge? I only want to talk. What is your business here? I must speak with Lord Scourge. I told you to keep an eye out. You're a Jedi. We saw you. We knew. What are you talking about? You're here because of Revan. You're here to save him. I'm impressed you figured it out so soon. I didn't. Revan told me. If you've spoken to Revan, you know where he is. Revan is a prisoner. Then I demand that you set him free. It's not that simple. I will take you to him. He will tell you the truth. T3 is right. How can I trust you? Why did you ambush me? You didn't tell Setchel the details of who you were or why you wanted to see me. You're lying. You're afraid to face me. You'll do anything to avoid a fight. Do I seem afraid to you? No. I finally understood what Revan meant. He wishes us to unite against the common foe. What common foe? The Emperor is planning an invasion of the Republic. Revan wishes to stop him. So do I. Why would you want to stop an invasion of the Republic? The Emperor wishes to repeat the mistakes of the Great Hyperspace War. He wishes to plunge us into a conflict that will only end in our extinction. Then why did you take Revan prisoner? That was before I understood. Nothing more. The Emperor unleashed a ritual there that devoured all that lived. Only when I saw it with my own eyes did I understand the depths of his insanity. Revan understood this. That is why he wishes for us to unite. Before I go anywhere with you, I'm going to need more than your word. I can bring proof. Wait here until tomorrow. If you betray me in any way, if you bring reinforcements, I will hunt you down. Save your anger for the Emperor. He is the true enemy. Welcome, my lord. I have a message for Setchel. Of course, my lord, right this way. I did not say I need to speak with him. It is strictly a message. My apologies, my lord. What would you have me do? Tell Setchel that Murtog needs to speak with him. He'll know where. Do not say that I was here. Do not even mention me. Fail me, and the flesh will be flayed from your bones!
any sound, and you're dead. Where's Murtog? Dead. Seems I underestimated this woman. I assume, since you survived, that she now shares Murtog's fate? How much did Nyrus know about the meeting? Nothing. You didn't mention it to her. You have an overly high opinion of yourself if you think Nyrus cares about some anonymous female from your past. This is beneath her notice. What about Murtog? Would he tell her where she was going? She doesn't keep tabs on us. How long do you think before she notices he's missing? You mean how long until she finds out you got him killed? Oh, I'd say you have about three days. We'll have to move fast then. What are you talking about? I want your files. What files? The files implicating Nyrus and the other Dark Council members. I want everything you have that could expose them as traitors. You're walking a thin line. I'm too valuable for Nyrus to cast me aside. You, however, are expendable. If Nyrus finds out about this, she'll have your head. Nyrus is not who you must worry about. I am. Give me the files. I will not ask again. Wait here. There's a blaster inside, but I have no intention of using it against you. Is this everything? It's all here, but it's encoded. If anything happens to me, the data is useless. I'm the only one who can decode it. I'm sure I'll find a slicer who's up for what the he He's returned. Alone. I have what you need. To so prove what I was saying about trying to stop the Emperor, you will see that we are on the same side. Decrypt this, T3. We have to move quickly. A very small window of opportunity is closing. Move faster, T3. It's true. Who is this Nyrus that is holding him captive? She's a Dark Council member. Nyrus is trying to betray the Emperor. She has the Dark Council on her side. It's time for you to take us to see Revan. When I first made the offer, I thought Revan could convince you that we could work together. Going to see her now is an unnecessary risk. You can't fight through Nyrus' entire army of followers. She has many gods and acolytes by her side. If you're going to break Revan III, you need a distraction. I think the people should know her plan. That would only cause civil war. And give us an opportunity to rescue Revan. I didn't bring you here so you could throw your life away. And I have no intention of becoming a martyr. I'll take my chances. T3, do it. I'll take you to the dungeon. There's a breach in the system. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Revan. I'm sorry, my lord. Good to see you again. You must listen. The Emperor is planning to invade the Republic with a force of which has not been seen since the Great Hyperspace War. He plans to extinguish all life in the galaxy and destroy the Empire. If we are to avoid this war and save us all, we must stop him now. Yes, but how? When Malak and I first met the Emperor on our approach to Drum of the Cause, his power alone was too great to withstand. A plan has been set in motion. The Empire will erupt into civil war. The Dark Council will be eradicated and the Emperor's power will be crippled. But we must seize this opportunity now! Well, then we must act quickly to stop the Emperor once and for all. The Force has shown me that my freedom draws near. The Force has shown you. You've had a vision. My future lies beyond these walls. I don't put much stock in prophecies and visions. The Force shows us in our dreams sometimes. And what do your dreams show you? 
Mitra. I knew I'd find you. It's been a long time. How touch it. We have bigger concerns. Darth Nyrus' stronghold is erupting into chaos. Scourge is right. We have a small window of opportunity. We're going to confront the Emperor and stop this madness before it begins. Now I know why you never told me your real name. Scourge. Save the jokes until after we escape. Can you fight? I don't think I have the strength. Maybe this will help. Bastila asked me to give it to you. You spoke with Bastila. You saw her. And your son. They're both well. What happened? I don't know. We have to get him out. Carry him. Wait. what you're doing. You will bring the entire empire to ruin. I cannot let you leave. It will be my pleasure to destroy you. I'll take Nyrus. Revan and his allies were able to infiltrate the Emperor's Citadel and make their way to the chamber. However, the Emperor's power was still too great to vanquish. Revan, weak and outnumbered, allowed his capture to let the Jedi exile Mitra escape the planet. As a prisoner in the Emperor's own chambers, my mastery of the Force successfully influenced his mind and prevented him from unleashing an attack on the Broken Republic, giving the galaxy centuries of peace. One day the evil will return, and the new generation of the Jedi Knights will be called upon to defend the Republic. May the Force be with them all.